sleep. Okay, today I should put my hair and I tried a different method. I use this applicator bottle. Um, it's an old part of you, um, tea tree scalp oil bottle. Um, rinse it out really, really good. Um, and put Dr. Bronner's castle soap, like right he to here or whatever. So, um, the rest pretty much up here, up to here was water. And I shook it up really good and then applied it to my scalp. And, and I pretty much used all of it. It's only a little bit left. And so I did that. I also used a t-shirt to dry my hair. Um, still in circular, um, counterclockwise motion. Um, it was okay, but I still picked some lint out of my hair. The whole purpose of that was so that I wouldn't have to pick lint out of my hair. Um, I only saw maybe like three, but I didn't want to see any, so I didn't like that either. I might try it again, just because, I don't know. I might try, yeah, I might try it again, and two days because I usually wash my hair every, every other day um and see how that goes hopefully I don't have any more of the um lint and what else did I oh and I you remember this in the front was fluff and <laughs> I've home rolled these three uh as you can see <laughs> You can't really tell. Um, not really. I mean, because I didn't use anything. It was just wet and I just, you know, took it like that and did it. Now, this one was shiny because at the, at the root you can kind of tell a teeny tiny bit because it's a little bit tighter. I'm not going to get close because I tried to record this one time before and you couldn't see it. So, um, this one you could tell a teeny bit and you still can tell a little bit. But I don't like the whole palm roll look because it's too shiny for me <laughs> it's too shiny i don't like shine oh my i mean it's okay but i don't like my hair looking done i guess <laughs> and that's part of the reason why i went the free form route um and the other thing is i when i put braids in you know my hair was i was really scalpy and i don't like that either but anyway back to the point I home roll these and then I did like little bantu knots at the end just so they would hold. Um, nothing major. They probably will rinse out when I wash my hair. Um, but that's cool too. Just to, I just wanted something different and I always like to wear my hair with a little bang or whatever. So I like this. Um, also, it was a little bit chilly today. Not a whole whole lot. I probably could have let it air dry, but I didn't. I um, sat under the dryer on a low setting for about 30 minutes, just long enough for it to, to dry, um, the majority of it to dry. Then, like, when I got in the car, it was hot in the car, you know, because I sat in there. So that kind of helped it to dry also. And then also, I didn't really remember that I had the heat on. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was burning up for a while. But anyway, <laughs> neither here nor there. Um... That's pretty much it. Oh, Stephanie, I didn't forget you. I forgot to mention you in the video, but like up to me making the video before, I was like, don't forget to shout out Stephanie in your video. And I completely forgot. So, hey, Stephanie. I think I saw her at either, it was either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. They all in that one little row anyway. So, I met, I met her there for the second time. The first time I met her was at the Dollar Tree. So, I probably going to see you again because I keep bumping into you. Well, that was a year ago, but <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. So, I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, yeah. I separated it. Whatever. Um... Maybe I'll do another video later on me separating. I'm always mean to do a video like right after I come out of the um, shower or whatever. Or not right after, but after I get dressed or whatever. Because my hair is still damp thin. I usually don't, don't um, separate it until, you know, after it's a teeny bit dry anyway. Plus, I still separate my hair like all three weeks. I have like hand and fro um, syndrome again. Or hand and lock syndrome. 
that vlogs this time, but I'm always touching in my hair, so if I feel like, um, you know, some portions that need to be separated, I just do it throughout the week. I feel like I can separate better with my hair dry versus, um, me separating with it damp or wet. I just feel like I can get a better grip on the strands and and they still break but not as easily as it does while it's wet you know because my hair is more porous or whatever so it does it's a little bit more fragile when it's wet anyway so I really like I mean I do like I said I do um separate when it's damp but I really don't separate separate until why did I just do quotes um <laughs> until um it's dry so like up until probably like wash day, I'll be all in my head. Not really looking for them, but I feel like some loose hairs attaching, creeping on into some locks. I'll just separate it like that. But, um, that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else to say. So, yeah, this is it. I'm pretty sure it looks the same as it did a week ago, but <laughs> well, besides the front part, I just want to make the video mostly just so I can show you the front and show you what I did, even if it doesn't last, just kind of like, you know, documentation for myself and for anybody else, like, my, I don't know, it's, to me, it's still performing, I don't, mm, whatever, I never do things the right way anyway, so, <laughs> hey, whatever, um, hopefully, I mean, it don't look like a palm roll anyway, so it don't really matter. Besides the end, and this is a band tonight. not. So, <laughs> I'm really tired. So, <laughs> I'm going to go down and try to get some sleep before this dog wakes me up. We wake up at 7.30 every morning. I have a new puppy. Anyway, I'm going because I'm, yeah, I'm rambling. Bye, everybody. Thanks for the new subscribers. I say you. And <laughs> see y'all next time. Probably next month.